everyone welcome back to the channel so this is our final part of this page in fragile worlds by kerber rosans it is the hooded grebes we've done the background we've done the birds we're gonna do the water so obviously we're using gouache again the whole page has been done in gouache i've been using the windsor and newton designer gouache the link to these is in the description of the video as well as getting the introductory set, I have also got a few shades that weren't in here because you can purchase them single stock. So um, a few of the colours I'm using, I think it might just be one of the blues actually, isn't in this set. So just be aware of that. Um, so I'm going to get mixing some colours. So I've just got my palette. First off actually, I'm going to take this out of the book. Now you might have noticed I've took my books apart and I have used this um, ring binding system whereby you can just pull out your pages and pop them back in. So I'm going to move that out of the way. It's going to make sure that we don't get any paint on our book. So I'm going to pop this paper on the bottom so we don't get any paint on the desk as well. So now we can pop that to the side. Now I'm going to start mixing some colours. So I'm just going to pop quite a few different shades of blue on here i'm gonna mix them up pop that out of the way so you can see what i'm doing this is hardened on acrylic which won't come off so it's not going to mix into any of the colors i'm mixing it's just the uh, and we will we will ignore it we will ignore it so i'm gonna cut put a couple of shades on this is ultramarine but i'm gonna be mixing them all up anyway so it doesn't really matter what colors they are there's a primary blue here Pop that down there. I'm gonna pop a black bit of black down because we're gonna make some of these colours deeper. I'm gonna make that one deeper up there. And I'm gonna end up with paint all over me by the end of this, guys. But you know what? You've not had fun unless you're covered in paint. So white, I'm gonna add a little blob down here somewhere so we can keep it pure i do remind me comment comment on my video that i need to order myself another white gouache and then i'll not forget guys pop me a little comment down below say order yourself some white paint kirsty right so good one. so they're on the colors i'm gonna give them a little mix now with quite a biggish brush if i can find it this one will do so i'm gonna add water to these as well but only a little bit only a little bit so i'm firstly going to deepen this color here so i'm just adding a little bit of water to it so you can see it's creamy i'm going to pick up a little bit of that black and just bit by bit and i think that's even enough that's enough that's a really nice quite a deep blue there i think that's quite nice let's have a look oh yeah that's nice and it will dry a little bit lighter with bean gouache as well so now I'm going to add a bit of this into this. So we're going to, and I'm going to leave some of it there. So we're going to create another shade here. There we go. You can see this is slightly different to that one. Add a little bit of water just to loosen it up a bit. Do you want it quite creamy? Let's just get all of that in all of that goodness in now i'm going to clean my brush off a little bit and i'm gonna get some of this blue i'll leave that bit there get some of this blue pop it down here and i'm going to add some white to it so let's just try and clean that off a little bit i'm gonna take this white and add it to there and then i'm gonna add a little touch of black to it just so it's more of a a muted light blue rather than such a stark saturated blue so i'm gonna get the tiniest little bit of black i don't know if you can see i've put the tiniest bit look at i'm covered in paint already tiniest bit of black and just mute it down almost I do want a little bit more in there so bit by bit because you can't take it away well you can but it's easier to just add bit by bit rather than so can you see how that's still down quite a lot that's better 
and I'm going to add a bit of that black into this blue at them. Clean your brush off first. Clean your brush off, guys. <laughs> Clean your brush off, then add a little bit of the black to this blue. That's really, really nice. And then over here, we'll just have this colour. So you can see we've got quite a few tones of blue going on. And then obviously I've got my little tiny bit of white still down here. If I need to add that to anything. Or if I want to add that to anything. But that is the sort of palette I'm going to be working with. So I'm going to pop this to the side. Now that you've seen the types of colours we're going to pop down. So, well, let's zoom you in as much as I can, because we want you to see, but I don't want it. To, I don't want us to go blurry. Right, the best thing to use to start off with is probably a flat brush. No, I don't have a massive choice, and this might be a bit too big, but no, I'm going to keep this for my dry brush. Actually, I'm going to save this because you do want a dry brush. Save one of your brushes. And keep it dry because that will you'll be able to blend better with a dry brush so i'm going to keep that one actually because it's a brand new dry brush and it will work better so i'm just i think the only sort of well it's a bit rounded on the end but it's quite flat um i could have done with a bigger one if you've got a big one use a bigger one but at the minute i need to order myself some more brushes i'm sort of working with the best of what i've got at the minute so the first colour I'm going to pop down is going to be this one. So it's not your lightest colour and it's not your darkest colour. It's sort of a mid, mid range colour and I'm going to pop that down first. And that is going to go on as a block colour all over. So try and be careful around the little greaves, although we will be bringing some waves up. But try and be a little bit careful and then sort of make that little line. And we're going to have this colour all over as a block colour. So just make sure you're covering everything up with this one. So if do a makeshift line underneath the greaves as well. There's a bit of a hair off the brush there. We will be bringing waves up here. So don't worry about how, how dodgy this looks at the moment. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about the line out showing through because by the time we've got all the layers that we're putting down on, you will not see any line out. So just as long as you've got your blue covering that white space, it's completely fine. Don't worry about it a little bit. Like I said, I really needed a bigger brush. This would be so much quicker with a bigger brush, guys. <laughs> We're working with what we've got. We're working with what we've got. I want to save that dry brush for really doing some blending if I need to blend anything. So I'm going to add a bit more water to this paint. It's getting a bit hard to work with. So loosen it up if you find that yourself. Again, your page should be completely fine as long as you're not putting too much water on the page. Sort of. If my hand gets in the way, I apologise. I'm just trying to get over onto this side near the grapes. It's a bit tricky getting on that side. I think I've just about done it. As we did with the greaves, greaves and all the feathers, this water is going to have a few layers. I'm going to disregard all these little, are they plants? Little plant things? I'm going to disregard them. I'm not going to paint them back in. I'm just going to do this as water. If you want to paint any of that back in, you 
feel free to do so. I nearly dipped into the wrong colour paint then, that would have been a disaster. Well, not a disaster, but it wouldn't have been ideal. Let's just put it that way. Wouldn't have been ideal. So we're running out of paints. Good job I've only got this bottom right hand corner to go. I'm running out of that paint. I mean you can always mix more up but it's trial and error trying to mix the same colour that you've just mixed isn't it? So hopefully let's scrape this palette. Get the last little bits of that colour. There we go. I think we've got all, all of that. Maybe a little bit there. So it will look rough and ready to start off with. As I've said in all parts of this video and the video was previous, um, it always looks rough at first. You have to get your layers in. So that's, that's our base layer. There we go. So next up we're going to get our basic shapes of the sort of waves going on. And to do this we're going to use our darkest colour. So this dark one I've mixed at the top, I'm going to use this one. Now when you're doing water, you've got to remember that what's closest to you, so what's down here, will be bigger. And anything in the distance will be smaller. So the sort of wave shapes we're going to make down here are going to be quite large and then as we get further up here they're going to be quite small um and then that'll give hopefully i mean it might not if we do it wrong <laughs> but hopefully it's going to give the illusion that you know you can see into the distance you can really some depth some real depth going on so i'm going to use the same brush because it's it's quite a nice size i'm gonna make sure add some water to this paint to make sure it's the right consistency that i want to work with the little bit more water don't want to run out of this color <laughs> all right let me just double check this is fine to work with let's have a look yep that's belting so i've got a little bit of this dark paint on my brush now and what i'm gonna start doing bring you in is making those waves imitate imitating them so you might want somewhat come up a bit like that and quite a steep sort of wave and remember the bigger it's bigger here getting smaller as you go towards up there <laughs> towards up there some you might just want fairly straight but this will look really, really rough, guys, to start off with. It really will. But don't worry. So you can follow some of Kirby's lines if you want. Like, like I say, you can still see some of those lines coming through. So if you want to follow where he's put them, just be mindful of when we're getting up here. It is going to be sort of smaller lines like this as we get up here, guys. Really small lines at the top you can even use a finer brush if you want to use a finer brush Well, that's what we've got so far. And this is my concentrating now, making me go quiet. 
well there we go you can see I've got quite a variety of shapes going on here the main thing being sure that your lines are bigger down here and smaller as you get up here they've got to be quite small waves up here Making them slightly bigger now as we're coming further down. Hope I didn't go off screen then, I think I did a little bit. There we go, so we've sort of got the lines in that we want to in that colour. We can always add more if we feel like we need more at the end. Because I'm tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. So now I'm going to switch my brush. I'm going to switch my brush to a slightly smaller round brush, I think. Let me see. Or just a round brush rather than that one. Yeah, we've got it. And I'm going to go for this shade next. So with this one, I'm going to go where we've just been with the dark lines. Not over the top of them, but just close close to them. So I'm just wetting this so we get a nice, quite a nice consistency. Can hear an ambulance going past or something. Don't you, Nina? Not sure I'll tell you what it is. We play a guessing game on the channel. Oh, it's a police car. <laughs> there we go. There's been a lot of police going past lately. Yeah, so we've got this colour on our brush now. I'm just making sure that my brush isn't too overloaded so that we can get a nice, decent line on here. And I'm just going to go near all these lines, so just sort of underneath them you might barely see it because um, let me zoom in a little bit we'll do some down here where you can see a bit better but it's quite subtle almost so we're going over the top and we're just layering and layering You can go underneath the ones we've just done, over the top, and then you can even put some extras in here and there to fill up all that space. I'm going to deepen it up a little bit, I think, or brighten it up a little bit. Maybe brighten up a little bit. Let's see what this 
see what this is like. That might be a bit better. So remember we're still doing bigger lines at the bottom. Now we do, if there is any other illustration still coming through, we want to, our plan is to cover all that up now with these next two layers. So really get those colours going. Now you might think they look quite harsh at the minute the lines but we are going to I am going to merge them a little bit with my dry brush still in frame. Let me zoom you out a little bit. I just don't want to go off screen accidentally. I know you'd like to see what I'm doing close up but I think if I make sure that all the it's all in frame then I'm not keep going off accidentally. Is it okay about there? Remembering that when we're coming up here, we are doing the small lines again. You can put lots of the lines in, but make sure they are quite small. Now you'll barely be able to see this shade of blue that's going down. It's sort of blending in into that mid-tone that we put down first. But we're just getting rid of all those, that illustration, what's coming through. I'm putting a little bit lighter colour down now, over here, in places. This will dry darker, so don't worry about if you think, oh, that's quite stark going on. I'm going to add some more water to that, it's just drying up a little bit, it needs to flow a bit better. So how are we all doing if we're joining in with this? Are we bearing up? <laughs> are we feeling okay about it? Water is very hard to tackle, I find. It's sort of a process that you have to go through with water. So obviously layering up, um, making sure that you've got 
your bigger lines where they should be, your smaller lines where they should be. And then of course at some point we need to get some highlights on top of the wave so it looks like there's a sort of little reflection. So bigger waves at the bottom. I'm going to work on this side now because we've sort of abandoned this side a little bit. Let's make sure we've got some of these big waves coming over this side. And down here where we've missed. You can go back in with the darker colours as well if you feel like you've gone over some of your darker areas. We can go back in, we can layer and layer with this. Remember your smaller lines up here. can afford to make those lines a bit bigger when we come to around this way around this sort of area If you can still see any of that illustration popping through, just pop your waves in. We've still got another layer to go yet, so should be no problem. I think I went a little off camera then guys, I do apologise. So hard to stay in frame when you've got this large area. Well hopefully you can get the general vibe, <laughs> general vibe of what I'm doing anyway. I'm just coming in with some more of the darkest blue that we started, putting these lines in with and I'm just going over some of these a little bit. This is me tweaking, being a serial tweaker guys, <laughs> I can't help it, it's just what I do. I 
Do some little ones up here. What I'm going to do now is go in with my lightest shade and on top of each wave, where I think each wave would be, I'm going to use a smaller brush for this as well. So find an even smaller brush than you've just been using. And I'm going to get quite a light shade of blue, my lightest shade here. Let me show you what shade I'm using. This one here, so it's quite pale. So I'm adding water to it because it's dried up a bit on the palette whilst we've been painting and on top of each wave we're going to put in a little highlight as if the light's bouncing off the wave so we're going to go in I'm going to start at the top of these ones here So hopefully you can see this. Slowly but surely, as with everything, this takes time guys. I'm going to pop in one up there because this is sort of where the water is meeting those little grebes. Hopefully you can see it coming together. I mean, it's not the most realistic water in the world, but it's the best I can do. I'm gonna dip back in because my brush has dried off quite a bit. I'm barely touching the page with this brush just so we can get that nice edge. So the brush isn't too overloaded and we're not losing any of that nice delicateness you're trying to pop in. Now, as the paint dries, you will know that it dries darker. So if you feel that the shade of blue you've popped on doesn't quite pack a punch as much as a punch as you wanted to for a highlight, you can add some more white or even go in with a pure white if you want it to look like the sun's beaming straight down onto the water and you want that bright light, bright white highlight, you go for it. I might pop a little bit in after this. And just turn you around again can you see it coming together and i think when you zoom out as well and look at it from a distance 
it looks even better. And that's what artists say. They say up close. It doesn't matter what it looks like up close. It's what it looks like when it's hanging on the wall and you look at it, you know, as you would look at artwork on the wall. My belly's rumbling. <gasps> I mean, I've watched several videos on how to do water and let me tell you, these artists make it look so easy. And it is in it's incredibly difficult to paint water, or I believe it is incredibly difficult. It's always the simplest things. It's always the ones that look the simplest that are the hardest, should we say, or I think it is. <laughs> so, We've sort of got that vibe going on. I think I am going to make this even brighter. I'm going for an even brighter highlight. So I've just put a hint. I've used, this is my pure, pure white that I've just added, added a hint of this colour into. So it's not white white, but you know, it is going to be quite bright on the page because it will dry darker as well. It will dry darker. So I'm going to go back in, in in some places, I think, where would the light be hitting? Would it be hitting down the centre of the water and would it be coming on top of these little waves here? And you don't have to do a continuous line over the top, you could just put a little bit there with some little dots either side because this is the reflection on the water. So we don't have to follow the whole of the wave, you can just pop a little bit a little line in here and there it doesn't have to be continuous maybe the top of the wave might have a little bit of highlight in it some up here i think some of these little ones maybe a few dots Again, you don't have to put it on every single wave. This one. Although I do like to get carried away. I think you know that by now, but with me, guys. You know that by now with me. The only thing I would say when you're doing this bit with a really brightest colour, just be sure to not have your brush too overloaded because if you do a big splodge, it's not going to have that nice effect that you're after. Well, there we go this is the kind of look we're going for and now i'm going to put on some little dotting detailing to really look like you know a really bright highlight so i am going to use the pure white for this so get your white straight out your tube pop 
pop it on. Make sure you clean your brush off. Just going to add a little bit of water to that white paint just to get a nice creamy consistency. And I'm going to start dotting on some reflection little glistens. My little glistens here and there. So over here I think maybe. very very delicately barely touching the page act as if you're almost scared to touch the page and you're almost just very gently you have to have a steady hand <laughs> steady hand so i'm gonna have some to the side and then i think the greaves would be blocking any real light um, coming onto this bit here so I'm going to pop some more glistens on this side and just a few to the side of the sides of the page up here so I think that's really quite a nice touch go so on this side now we're gonna pop some around here so little tiny ones at the top you might see my hand shaking a little bit I'm just like I'm making this little da -da 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 motion <laughs> if you understand what da -da 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 means um, but trying not to touch the page at the same time so what, when you do touch the page it's very slight very slight I'm gonna pop a couple there and then the biggest bulk of them are gonna be around here so we're going to do quite a lot more there. We're going to have it glistening over here. The sun's really hitting those waves down here. I'm having a nice glisten. Again, you can see I'm trying to do it on top of the waves almost. So wherever we put that arch on the wave, that's where I'm sort of putting the little glistening bits around. And I think well, maybe, maybe a bit of the light's crept down here. Under here it wouldn't have done, but maybe a bit, maybe a bit is crept over here. I just feel like it's missing out in the centre after saying that. I feel like we're missing out a bit. But don't go right up there because there would be a shadow up there, there would. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it as high as the and no more. That's it. Right, I could tweak and tweak and tweak all day, guys, but I think I'm going to try and leave it at that. <laughs> she says, try and leave it at that. I bet when I get off screen, I'm gonna be tweaking even more. I'm gonna be like, what? Yeah, let's tweak. Let's tweak and tweak and tweak. But 
I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Now I'm gonna pop some little sort of, not waves, well, I suppose you could call it waves, but I'm gonna do some with my sponge. I'm gonna dip the sponge into, I'm gonna wet it this time. I'm gonna wet my sponge. So, so the texture is not going to be as rough as it was up here, but I'm going to create a bit of waves around just underneath the greaves a little tiny bit. Let me clean this sponge off. But I have wet the sponge this time, guys. So I'm just going to see how this looks on some scrap piece of paper because I might decide totally just not to do it like that. But let me see. Well, white paper isn't the best to do it, but... Yeah, so I'm going to pop a bit, just where they're entering the water, I'm going to pop a little bit with a sponge. So I've wet my sponge, I've dipped it in a bit of the white paint. And yeah, so it's just as though the waves have, you know, just splashed up a bit. I don't want to drag that paint. Let's dab over the top of it instead of it being dragged. But yeah, so the waves have splashed up onto the greaves. You can see what I'm trying to do. Now it's very hard not to get too, what's the word? Go too over the top with this. So I am being careful. I'm gonna wet my sponge again because I want it to be less, I don't want them lines to be as harsh on this bottom bit. I just want it to be slight. So if you wet your sponge, it will get rid of some of the texture. But I'm going to dip back into my white now, just to get some more paint loaded up. And I'm going to go over onto this side. So again, little greaves I've got splashed. Around there. Perfect, perfect, that'll do, that will do. So I'm gonna quickly clear off my desk a little bit. It's very mucky, very mucky over here, guys. I'm gonna move this paper. Oh, don't tell me I'm stuck to that. Nope, go move that paper. I'm gonna pop, zoom you out for a start, so we can see the whole page. Oh, what is it doing? Let's pull you up more, that's better. So you can see that, and then we're gonna pop the page back into my book. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pop this back in. So we just line it up with the little binders and literally slot each one back in. And it's back in the book, and that's it, guys. So I'm chuffed with that page, actually. I think it's turned out quite all right. The water's quite nice, I think, from afar it looks a lot better if you look at it from afar but i think we've got some created some really nice little elements on the page there so i hope if you followed along jen i know you're following along i hope that water wasn't too difficult because it, it can be water is so tricky and this even with all the videos i've watched on how to do realistic water i still haven't managed to get that realism that real true realism to it like um, all the videos that I've been watching so it is, it's really really tricky but I'm pleased with it for my colouring page I'm pleased with it so there we go please 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 do hit the thumbs up on the video subscribe if you're new if you're interested I've also got channel memberships that will be linked down below if you're interested in checking that out but thank you so much for hopping along and coming along with me or just grabbing a coffee and watching me paint and I'll see you in the next one bye bye